Hello, Vicki Crystal in here, and so um, we're going through some magical times, and boy, my guides were right. Um, wow. So let's just connect so everybody receives the frequency at the same level, and um, so just take three deep breaths. Say Vicki Dai Lamo. I say Dai Dai Dai. Another death breath. Wow, another death. Another breath. I kai tiki dai 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 dai. And your last breath. And as this breath comes forward, you will be connecting on all levels. You will feel your authentic self drop in. You will feel yourself connect like a plugging into your heart and you will feel another guy completely connected. So take in this last breath. I say di dai dai ko dai le sa ki dai da mo ki dai sa ko di dai 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 si nai mo sa le ki dai sa le te si ki dai te sa i di So as you feel balanced and anchored in at heart centered, everybody's receiving this message um, as I receive it. And, um, boy, it was so powerful. So yesterday morning, I woke up early because I was going to my other daughter's house. So when I woke up early, um, man, I just felt, uh, that I had went through a time, a time warp, like a time shift. And I couldn't, I couldn't explain it. I couldn't explain it at all. So, but I just felt it. It was a knowing. It was, and feel this out your heart. Feel this into your heart that we had went through, not that I could visually see anything different, but I could feel it. I could feel it through me. So, as I was uh, going through my day, um, I was listening to the kids. They kept saying, you know, because they're playing on video games, that they're going through time warps. And I was just like, wow, I just felt that through me all day. So just anchor this in because I could just feel it just like amping up. Because everybody's plugging in and whoever is to receive this is receiving this. So, wow. So, this morning I woke up and, wow, I felt like I had went through another time warp, a time shift, a time, and I can't even explain it. It's more of a knowing. And um, I was just like, wow. And so I just, uh, I went into... Um, meditation and I just was allowing just to allow what was coming forward and um, and uh, they validated that we are going through a a time warp a time shift in um, this reality right now um, in my experience at least so they my guy my guides and my guardians asked me they they came and asked me um, they asked me if I, I was at a fork in the road and that this shift that I could choose to pass over, and that's what they told me, that I could choose at that moment right then to pass over or I can continue to pass with my path right here. And but, um, then they showed me... Uh, because I was like in awe of all of this that I'm getting a choice, but I actually had set this up in my life to choose if to go home from here or to continue on my path. So um, I was just like, wow, I was embodying this. And then they showed me a map and they showed me that the world, if you look at the world map, it had changed. Even now, if you look at the world map, it has changed. I feel it through me. It's a it's a knowing. I, I can't even explain it. So when I got out of meditation just a few minutes ago, I went and I looked at the world map. I, I looked at it as a child. I haven't really explored the world map. But the one thing that I can say is that um, Alaska looked like a sliver, which I was blown away by that, and how huge Russia had became. And, I mean... Russia is huge, and um, with 
time um, warps and time shifts that we're going through, anything, there is no, um, because as you go through it, even the maps go through it. So there isn't nothing to reference back to what it was before, only in your mind. And I was blown away by how big Russia was. Now you guys can all do this and check it and and and, and feel it in your core. Don't listen to my words. Feel it in your core. So they showed me this map. And then I was like, wow. And then I sh asked, I said, okay, what is the highest path for me to take? To pass over right now? And just let this physical experience just um, move past this. Or to stay on this path, stay in the physical. And then... Um, which path is for my highest and best? And for my highest and best, I felt that they were both equally, that it was all right, equally. But I would be a great benefit to this world now to stay on this path because I asked that. Then they showed me a new map. And in this new map, there's no more California, there's no more Oregon or Washington. Hardly any California, no, no Alaska, no Australia, none. There is not hardly any of the East Coast. Um, all Texas is gone. There, uh, um, wow, and yeah, all of like Florida's gone, and um, China's barely there. I remember seeing that China's barely there, um, and I'm just getting glimpses because I couldn't even actually remember a couple minutes ago but I'm just getting glimpses of that map again and believe me there's less land and a lot more water so but I, I and even right now the Russia is huge like Russia is the main land and I feel that and I don't even know what that means but we're going through time shifts and we're going through time warps. I feel them through my core. Through my core. What this is bringing forward is great change and I'm allowing to stay here on my path in this physical. And um, and if this resonates with you, anyone who has checked out and knows the map, because that's the only way that we're going to be able to hold on to what the map looked like is in our memory. It's like the Mandela effect. That's when we're going through these time warps. Well, I know I've went through two time warps. And when I did my channeling, when I rewatched it, they brought forward that we were going through astronomical times right now in these last three days. So in two days, I've had, I went through two time warps. My son right now, who has been here, is literally, he has been asleep for 13 hours. He don't sleep like that. But I'm allowing that process because I checked into it. I was going to wake him up. But they were allowing his body to go through the time warp too. Because that's why uh, some of us are going to go through it and be very, very tired. Um, and allow whatever experience you're going through. And um, I just keep feeling like floaty. And I'm just allowing the experience and allowing whatever is to partake in this experience and allowing it to come forward. But all those who have explored the geographic of the world, look at the maps now, and know that your memories are not wrong. Know that your memories are not wrong. We're just going through a time warp, a time segment, a time overlapping is what I feel. So as we go through this, do not fear. There is no fear. There is no fear. None at all. So, um, and I don't even know why I brought that up. So obviously somebody's stolen it. So we're going to clear all that. And we'll bring, bring into alignment of this time warp. This time. Time thing. Breathe the tender ones, and yes, you have been through many time warps in this even in this experience, and they are becoming more plotable. They are becoming more experiential. We are like speaking the word. They are becoming more phys 
physical those who are ready for that process they are feeling the time shifting from one experience to another you have done this many times before it is coming more and more and more and more and more and as this channel has said you may physically not see it but there is evidence of it in your world there is great evidence of it and trust what you see also, when a time shift has happened, everything in that existence has shifted also. So even if you have world maps in your closets, in the drawers, in boxes, those two have shifted. So it is also, as this beloved channel has said, it is in your memory banks. Not that you have to be... Focus upon how it happened, why it happened, what you don't need to get into the why to's, how to's, how comes. Just allow the experience to be brought forward. For you have asked for this, dear ones. You have asked for all. And yes, everyone is going through the time shifts. Everyone is going through the time expansion. Everyone. Everyone. We are with you always, 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 always. May you be blessed. Daina kitai to go. Ke. Ke la modi. We are locking in this experience. For it to be more gentle for you. Breathe into the experience. Lots is going on in the background. We are always there. May you be blessed. Ah. Wow. I felt all that. I heard all that. I well, it's clearing me now, so I can't remember now, but, <laughs> right? It is what it is. So, allow these new shifts to take place in your body, in your energy field, in your life. If you want validation, they are showing you those validation. That shift has happened. Be the light you are. Be the light you are. Great change is here. It's always been here, but it's accelerating, 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 accelerating. Give and receive. They're showing me right now. Give and receive. Give back to me and the world. Give back to you and yourself. Be the light you are. May you all be blessed. May you all be blessed. Subscribe to my channel. If you want a reading or a healing, email me. Email me. Trust your heart. It's the way. I send you off. May you have a magical day as you go through this experience. I do.